Robots.txt is a text command file on the web server that webmasters can write. It tells bots which directories, web pages, or links should not be included for search results and how to crawl your website. With robots.txt command, you can restrict search engine bots from crawling some directories and web pages or links of your website or blog. Welcome to Tribe Web Information Tech YouTube channel. Today we will talk about the best robots.txt commands and how you should use them. First logging to your blog or dashboard. Go to the settings tab and click on it. Scroll down to where you will find crawlers and indexing. Click on enable custom robots.txt. Then, click on custom robots.txt and follow what I am doing in the video. It is crucial that you don't make errors while writing your robots.txt command. Any error made will affect your website and it won't get indexed by Google and other search engine bots. To avoid errors and to make sure you follow properly, I will be writing the command as slow as I can. If I am too fast, you can pause the video for a while to meet up with my speed. Always start your command in capsule letter because custom robots.txt is very case sensitive. So, always make sure the first letter in your command line is capitalized. User agent indicates the bot that you are giving the command. Media partner Google, this command is for Google AdSense bots only. Leave the space empty after typing disallow, this will allow Google AdSense bots to properly crawl your pages, this will help your blog get fast AdSense approval. User agent with the sign at the end, this command is for all bots including Google search engine bots. Disallow search, tells the bots not to index your search results URL. Disallow B, tells the bots not to index your preview and draft pages. Allow. Tells the bot to index everything else including your posts and standalone pages. Using this command is very important. Sitemap has the complete list of all the web URLs on your website, add your sitemap so that the bots can quickly index all your pages. After writing your command, it is good practice to always read through them thoroughly. This will help you notice any typographical errors, wrong commands, and missing robots command. Once you are done, click on save to save your sitemap. This command is the basic robots.txt command. I will show you how to properly write a command if you want robots to crawl your latest pages and posts before crawling the old ones. The second command we will be writing is a robots.txt command that tells search engine bots and other bots to crawl your website, starting from the newest post to the oldest post. This is a good command to use if you want quick indexing of your newest post and you want them to show on search engine results page. Note. You can't use command 1 and command 2 together. So you have to choose which command is most suitable for your website. Personally, I will recommend command 2, this is because it is a very good strategic command for search engine optimization. If you are in a competitive niche that requires you to post every day, such as entertainment and news niche, then you should use command 2. If you want bots to crawl all your pages in no particular order, then you should use command 1. Whatever command you choose, both commands will crawl all your pages, the only difference is in what order they are crawled. The link to download these command files for free are in the post description, so you can download them if you want to compare it to your own robots.txt commands, or for some reason, you can't get the right robot.txt command. Do not forget to remove my URL and replace it with your URL when giving the sitemap. Giving the wrong sitemap URL will leave your website uncrawled. After typing in the command, read through the lines again to check for errors, then save your robots.txt command. There is a third command that I will be showing you, this command is for blogs that have more than 500 posts. If you don't have up to 500 posts, you should still learn it for future references. Don't forget to like and subscribe to TribeWeb Information Tech YouTube channel. To get notified immediately when I post a new tutorial video, click on the notification bells. This is all free. The third command is the most complex of all the three commands. This command is for websites with more than 500 posts. You should use this command if you want to crawl all posts on your website. This method requires some mathematics, but it is just basic maths. 
pay attention to what I am doing. When writing your sitemap, you will need to put more than one sitemap here. The first sitemap will crawl your first 500 pages. The second sitemap will crawl your next 500 pages. For example, if you have 2000 posts, you will need to create four sitemaps. The first sitemap will crawl from page 1 to 500. The second sitemap will crawl from page 501 to 1000. The third sitemap will crawl from page 1001 to 1500. The fourth sitemap will crawl from page 1501 to 2000. So, you need to calculate how many posts you have on your website, then divide it by 500. This will show you the number of sitemaps you have to create. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial on how to write the best robots.txt commands. If you have further questions, the comment is always open, and I am here to answer all your questions. Don't forget to check our other videos on free backlink building from high domain authority websites, Android tricks, PC tricks, and also blogging tips. Until next time, goodbye.